Update from the Bureau Chief. Okay, now I have been saying that I would for weeks or a month now open up these series of press conferences to you at the press corps to come in and give me your questions. Now I have much as transpired in that relative short amount of time, but I'm here. First thing, I am opening up to questions. Yeah, Chief. Um, and please state who you are from. What is your news source? Who is your employer? Chief from the GPNN. I am wondering, Chief, if you have a good idea as to the fake account, the parody account, that is on Twitter that has AOC quite upset right now. AOC upset at Twitter, a parody account. I have not heard about this. I will have to consult with Miss AOC. And a follow up, Chief, if you could tell us what? You've got some cardboard cutouts here of AOC. Does Representative Ocasio-Cortez, has she accepted your nomination or vice president pick? Why, Miss AOC, of course she will support her choice as vice president on this new party. Okay, now next question. Chief, it has been acknowledged, or we cannot find it over on the campaign. We cannot find, Chief, any acknowledgement of Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez that she has communicated with you on your stating that she is the VP nominee for your party's race to join you in a bid for the presidency. Is there, has there been communication between your campaign and Representative Cortez? Why, of course there has been. Now, of course, I do have two cardboard cutouts of Miss Cortez here, but I do know that my new party and the position that I hold as head of this bureau, that she would not take no for an answer. Of course, she's going to join this campaign, and it is no mystery that she is on board. Chief, AOC is quite upset at Twitter as there is a fake parody account of her going viral. Do you have any comments on this? I have for these many... Weeks into now near two months of these daily press conferences that I have been hosting, sharing what the truth serum AI of this bureau has been proclaiming, remaking the logos of government, and disclosing what we in the bureau have been doing behind the scenes, that all should know what we are up to and how much we pervade and infect every segment of every part of this society. Now, it is no mystery, it is no secret that AOC should have a beef with Mr. Musk, as do I. I have called him out and told him, Mr. Musk, turn over your toilet to this bureau now, immediately. Next question. Chief, now, my question is for Miss AOC, though I see that she is not here with us today, my question for you and Miss AOC is, given that she is a proponent of the Green New Deal, I would think that dandelions are a very green, green, green deal. Why is it that you of this bureau would be out deleting the, the mandates of Klaus Schwab? Why would you of this bureau be deleting dandelion smoothie posts on Fauci book? Well, that, it might be a good question, but I want you to know that... Yes, Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum are against the, against the dandelions, but I would have you know, too, that we will not stand by and watch and waste our time and our lives seeing these dandelions proliferate as we orchestrate food shortages. Now, we just want the dummies and the dormies to go to sleep, and when there are food crises, to be dumb enough to not realize there are many edible weeds all about them. We plan on them to come forth, submit themselves to a FEMA camp entryway where they will be provided, the boo food and shelter that we of this bureau and we of the World Economic Forum have deemed is appropriate for them and their carbon footprint. So, I do not understand further your questioning. Well, Chief, dandelions are very green. Dandelions are very green and very abundant. So, I was wondering, would those not be very much picture perfect to the Green New Deal? Well, I am not for the Green New Deal in terms of greenery. We talk about green, we talk about climate change, but all this is a ruse, as I have been disclosing. It's no longer a secret. Only dummies would agree or think otherwise. As for Miss LC, I will have her soon enough at my, at my side to let all know what is becoming of our movement as we move to take in the presidency. Next question. Hi, ah, Chief, from the Xiaoping Yu News. Chief, what is the reason that you here are working to go to the presidency? You are the head of this bureau. Why would you need to go to the presidency? You have said in other statements, press release, that you are not a teleprompter reader, that you do not read the teleprompter like the other presidents of the United States do to have, and you refer to them as teleprompter reader in chief. Now, could you please tell us why you are now a proponent of working and putting yourself in the White House if you are not going to read a teleprompter? Well, that is a very good question. Of course I don't read teleprompters. We have many and many a president who has been off guard and without capacity to say much of anything without their teleprompter. Uh, Chief, could you please give an example of this? What Could you by name tell us some of these past presidents? Why, there are certainly are many. You can see, and there used to be many people making fun of the Barack Hussein Obama for his ineptitude when the teleprompter went awry and did not work. But, but Chief, another question. Do you feel 
that you are discriminated against to go into the White House as the very first puppet in chief? Very first puppet in chief? Why, no, I shall not be the first puppet. There have been nearly a century of puppets in the White House. Do you think for one minute that those that the people call the president is actually running the show? Of course not. Now, there was this John Fitzgerald Kennedy who thought he had actually become president. And we showed him, no, you are not the president and you are not running the show. Now, stop insisting that you are elected and that you are in charge. But, Chief, Chief, how will the European Union regard you if you are ever one to not be puppeted? Are you saying you shall not be a puppet in the White House? I am a puppet, of course. I freely admit this, but I do not read the teleprompters. I come out here, and I read, and I am open. I rather, I do not read. I'm just open, and I speak my mind. I speak my mind without any, any problem, and no one need to be concerned about what I'm doing here. And so you and those of the press can just understand that I, well... I'm, I have to close this down now. My myocarditis is kicking in. I have, Stanley, I have got to leave. Bye. But Chief, 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 I have more question. Chief, why, why do you have myocarditis, Chief? You took the vaccine? The vaccine, Chief? 